Skadoosh. Joey Moss, Bad Boy MTG, and oh my goodness. I appreciate you tuning in, first off. Thank you so much. For everyone that tunes in all the time, awesome. If you're new to the channel, awesome. Subscribe. All right. All right, we're going to cover every single rare and mythic from Strixhaven. Pretty intense. Now, do keep in mind, whoops, we jumped ahead a little bit. Do keep in mind, these are pre-sale prices. These prices almost always woo, go down, okay? And in some cases, we're talking a 300% drop, a 400% drop. You know, not all of them, but some. And crazy enough, some of these cards will go up in price, okay? I do not recommend anyone purchasing any of these cards right now. Wait a little bit of time before you jump in on something, unless you really uh, have some faith in a card that it can jump in price. That all out of the way. Let's get up into this. Starting with the Freet Flame Painter. Over 80 cards. We're going to zip through it, though. A Freet Flame Painter. Bada bing. Uh, Radiant Scroll Wielder. Now, some information. Um, uh, the images, all you see is Scryfall. But to get pricing on maybe a dozen or so cards, I actually had to go back to TCG Player and then create like some kind of medium and all types of stuff. So anyway, Radiant Scroll Wielder. So that would be... Again, we're going from bottom to the top. So they're all like kind of in order. So this one's like around a buck twenty, buck thirty for Dream Strix. And then moving up, we have Elemental Expressionist. I do like the art on this. Is that a Liger? I like Ligers, you know? No? Anyone? Okay. Um, yeah, again, between a dollar, two dollars. What they're asking right now, pre-sale, doesn't mean it's gonna be this. And also I have to point out the prices on the screen reflect the non-extended art cards. So every single price, we're going in order, non-extended art. So just the regular base one. And then some price. sometimes you'll see prices are asking for the extended art. I had to get that out of the way. But I wanted to use extended art as much as I could. So there you go. Hall of Oracles, a Draconic Intervention. Again, all around about two bucks, you know what they're asking right now. Uh, so there you go, buck 90. Now we're going up a little bit. Torrent Sculptor. And uh, yeah, 20 bucks. No, 20 bucks, heck to the frickin' no, okay? These are all early, but this also gives us a glimpse. You know, sometimes these videos are just kind of ridiculous, and this one kind of is. But it gives us an idea um, of of where people think these cards are going to end up, you know? <laughs> or where, like, where the value of them is in the whole chain of Strixhaven cards. So there you go. This one's like 250 roughly. Um, and some cards I'll point out that if I have a lot of interest in them or think they might be amazing, you know, we'll probably have to wait a little bit to get to there. But here's Leonin, Light Scribe. I really like the Magecraft. I think the whole Magecraft thing is just amazing. Um, and this Phoenix, it seems like Phoenixes are really great in Standard. And then after Standard, the Phoenix just kind of, you know, anyone, me, just me. Some phoenixes have staying power, but this one probably not so much. There you go. Gnarled Professor. Again, we're still floating around that dollar seventy-five to like two fifty, three dollar range uh, currently. Manifestation Destiny. No, it's Sage, but still pretty cool. Uh, get a big old token out. That's all we can say about you, my friend. Keep it a trucking. Ingenious Mastery. I do have to admire the art. The art in this set, I think, was was well done. Most of it. I mean, I'm not going to say any of it's bad because I don't think any of it is bad. Just some, you know, I'm like, I like more than others. Let's leave it at that. Uh, academic probation. Interesting. Devastating mastery. Right now we're floating still like around two bucks plus. And then, yeah, see, now we're at $2.82. Sparring a regimen. Again, this is just the extended art. This, we're, every price is the base base price okay didn't want to confuse no one had to say that again and don't pick these up right now for the prices on the screen <laughs> two dollars 90 cents for the base of dean of substance there are flip cards i guess i will flip them for you guys moving forward so you can see both sides and the art really i wanted to focus on the art and just where people have these cards going in price man basic conjuration there you go you ever conjure up a spirit I have once, and crazy stuff happened. Check out Ghost Static for that video. It's nuts. All right, moving forward, we have Shill, Dean of Radiance. I'm forgetting to turn over, aren't I? 
Turnovers are ready. Uh, Ambrosi, Dean of Shadow. I like that art. That dude looks pretty badass. Um, I give him a lot of credit. Thirteen forty nine. Yeah, again, you're not going to be paying thirteen dollars and forty nine cents for this extended art card. When all said and done, my guess, just throwing it out there, this is probably going to be like a, a two dollar extended art card, and the regular versions like a buck eighty cent. These are going to drop, man. Fervent Mastery, three oh five. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Okay, um, it's probably going to drop. To, this might even be a bulk rare. Okay, but they like to. Uh, I noticed recently the prices across the board, the overall average during pre sale is just jacked up really high, more so than uh, sets in the past. I don't know if maybe because of the whole Pokemon craze, you know, or was it uh, Logan Paul or uh, the other Paul, one of the Pauls, I don't know. They opened up, you know, some Pokemon, uh, old Pokemon box, and, you know, the whole community kind of went nuts. And because of all the attention that drew uh, in the Pokemon, you know, craze and, and spread to Yu-Gi-Oh!, maybe Magic is kind of following those steps and they're just jacking up their prices. Like, look, we got expensive stuff in these sets too. You know, maybe like pre-sale. I don't know, because I know they were not this high uh, in the beginning. No. <laughs> I used to do Top 25, and um, I remember we would see sometimes, sometimes, we would see, like, above, uh, starting above $2, starting at. Where now, I'm doing 80 and we're starting at a buck fifty. It's like, huh? That's an additional, like, 60 cards thrown in there. So, something doesn't really add up there. Almost like they're uh, purposely hiking up the prices on websites. I don't know if they had private door discussion with people, you know, to make these look more appealing. I don't know what the case may be. But uh, power level definitely has increased um, in standard sets compared to before, you know. Um, and I think maybe power level has increased just because there's more interaction with older cards, you know. Um, you can have a dud card that's been sitting, doing a whole lot of nada for a very long time. And then all of a sudden, 350 we're at, with Lord hold, um, it finds synergy with another card that was just printed, and boom, the price of that sucker just skyrockets. So, I mean, that could be a factor too. But anyway, Quandrix Command, 376. No chance in heck you're going to pay 1348 for extended uh, art of this. Not even extended foil. <laughs> I'll tell you that, because once... The collector box is hit, 378 for uh, Accomplished Alchemist. There you go. Once the collector box is hit, which typically is a week after the regular draft boxes arrive in local game stores and also in uh, uh, your Walmarts, your Targets, you know, wherever your 7-Eleven. Do they have a card 7-Eleven? No? Okay. So maybe not. You know, 391, Confront the Past. I like the name on that card. I really do. Uh, no way is it going to be $3.91. Look, you're already made like a correction. They're like, no, it's a 68 cents. You know, they're already correcting stuff as we go in this video. It's pretty nuts. Uh, Conspiracy Theorist, three ninety four. dollars Again, this is probably going to be like a dollar, even for the extended art, you know, when all said and done. Maybe two bucks. Uh, Verdant Mastery is at four twenty one. dollars I like uh, searching my library. So I like this card. Now you know. Plark, Dean of Chaos, baby, 431, not a chance. Uh, maybe, though. Oh, yeah, turnover, sorry, guys. So here's the flip side. we got to show off the art. Uh, legit card. This one has a little potential. We'll see where it all goes. I like the whole one, um, uh, benefit if it's untapped and benefit if it's tapped. I think that's pretty cool. Baleful Mastery. This card may sit around the 464 range, the extended art foil may, you know, be like 15, 20 bucks. This is probably going to be one of the hotter rares in the set. In my opinion, it's a great removal card, especially for modern and whatnot. Really, it is. It's going to be good. Is the base going to be more than 464? Not off rip, but down the road, that's a card that's going to go up. Again, all these are going to drop in price. Here's uh, one of the lands here at 477. Sure, maybe, no. The extended art card, will probably be 477 <laughs> when uh when the set drops uh within the first week so callous blood mage this was around like five bucks uh but it does have a fun little ability on it uh and anything entering the battlefield triggers are really good calling ritual destroy each non-land permanent with mana value two or less add uh add a black or a green for each permanent destroyed this way 
That's legit. I mean, I like the little rampage on there, you know, or just getting some more use out of it. Dramatic finale. There you go. Creature tokens you control get plus one, plus one. People like stuff that have creature tokens. It is. It just is what it is. That one's sitting around uh, 450-ish. Fury Comb. Bada bang. Cool, cool. Uh, Necro Blossom Snarl. That name. You're my little Necro Blossom Snarl. And cuddle up to you at night. <laughs> Multiple choice. Um, was in the mix around five something. And then we have Exponential Growth. See, like a card like this, 495. Until end of turn, double target creature's power, X times. Now you have to pay X individually. So you got to pay the X over there and the X over there. So you're basically paying like double for like X. So X times two. Yeah, well, sure. Okay. Now you get it. So you got to pay. So like if you want to get, you know, to two, you have to pay four plus the other two green. All right. Then we have Cody. Cody, this is an interesting one. Wacky, wacky, uh, uh, possible, don't get me, don't go, don't go crazy, but possible commander, you never know, it is legendary, we'll see, um, Dean of the Vein, Dean of the Vine, whatever, uh, there's the flip, like the art on that right there, gorgeous baby, I just like vines and trees and stuff, and it's got some color in there, yeah, it's nice, uh, the Boil Snarl, 544, oh man, Flame Scroll Celebrant, Wow, we have a lot of cards. I didn't realize how many there are. Uh, but we're getting into the hot stuff now. We're warming up. Mascot Exhibition. It's a mythic, and it's sitting at around like six bucks, roughly, right now. We'll see where it goes. Tend the Pests. Tend to the Pests. This is an uncommon, and it's at $547. Oof. Probably set at like $2, $250, but it's the most expensive uncommon right now. And then Tempted by the Auric. Auric. Uh, so I think it's $6. Why do they star that? I'm not sure what that means. That's the foil price? Are you kidding me? Don't tell me that, okay, all the starred ones are foil prices. How did I overlook that? Wow. If you're watching this far, say, Joey, what the heck is wrong with you? All right, $6.10. I'm glad I looked at that. So the foil price on this is $6, it's telling me. Does this only come in foil? Interesting stuff. We'll learn more as we go. $6.10 for Auric Overlord over here. This one's cool. Powerhouse, my friends. Powerhouse for show. Uh, again, these cards are uh, not something you want to just, you know, speculate on early. But a lot of people are. But at the prices they're at right now, no. I, I would not be picking stuff up right now. It's just out of this world. This card a lot of people have high hopes for. They certainly do. They certainly do. So this is, yeah, there we go. Uh, I just wanted to make sure top, bottom. Yeah, so bottom would be, yeah, okay. 677 for the Snarl. Shine, there you go. Vanishing Verse, another good card. Exile Target Monocolored Permanent. For only a white and a black. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, sitting at 689. Uh, and it's a rare. Cool. Magma Opus. I'm just double checking my stuff. So if it has a star, it's a foil, and I messed up on those. I apologize. They're out of order. Magma Opus, big spell, eight drop. Shadrick's Silver Quill. People are like, like players are like, I, I like the card, and then the, the rest of the community is like, hey, it just doesn't do enough. You know, at the beginning of combat on your turn, you may choose two. Each mode must target a different player. It's got the flying and double strike. Maybe if it targeted the same player, that'd be kind of cool, you know, but who knows? Okay, uh, Damagoth Titan, sitting at $8. It's at eleven ten. Whenever Damagoth Titan attacks or blocks, sacrifice a creature. Give that thing trample, man. <laughs> There's so many cards that do it, you know, and uh, you can do it with mono green. Throw this up in there, bada bang, but... Creatures are going to get the, crack kick, <laughs> the crap kicked out of them in this uh, in this upcoming meta. Augmenter Pugilist. Interesting one. We got a flip here. Sorry. There you go. Or Echoing Equation. Sitting at the $8.03. Choose target creature you control. Each other creature you control becomes a copy of it until end of turn. Whoa. That can get out of control. Um, except those creatures aren't legendary. If the chosen creature is legendary. Yeah, that's pretty brutal. Downside, it's in blue, you know. Um, I, I would just like to have seen this in green. But maybe you splash blue. Maybe you run a world tree in your deck. Maybe you do something like that. Who knows? 
Winterbloom command, the old two drop. A two drop command is almost always going to be amazing. It's going to be phenomenal. Almost always. A two or three drop command, you're looking pretty good, man. We've seen them in the past. Double major, $8.37. Foil, $14.99, they're, they're, they're saying for that. That's pretty crazy. And that's just the regular one, but this is a really good card. I don't think it's going to be that pricey, though. Uh, again, they're all going to come down, but some of these mythics will be around what they're asking. Uh, Prismari Command's another pretty powerful command card. Uh, it's probably going to drop to like five bucks, four bucks when uh, you know within a week's time of the set drop. Oh, Green Ghost Forge, nine forty six. I don't know about you, Ben. I like that you best with spirits. I wish you were in different colors though, maybe white and black. I think would have been a lot more fun for you, but it is what it is. Cool, cool. Mavinda, Student's Advocate. And of course, some different abilities a little bit on there. So it would match, not be a color pie break. Uh, here's the Advocate, which, <laughs> I don't know. This one definitely screams Harry Potter on it, you know. Um, what, was, what was the girl's name from Harry Potter? Anybody know? I'm not sure. We're at $9.58 right now, and we just entered into Tanazar Quandrix, the Elder Dragon. I think this one is a little underpriced. Call me crazy. Call me crazy. But these Elder Dragons down the road, expect them to go for a pretty penny. Blow out the sky. Interesting card. Create X tap 2 1 white and black inkling creature tokens with flying. If X is six or more, destroy all non creature, non land permanents. I'll see. Then we have Crackle with Power. Triple X 2 red. Crackle with power deals five damage. I'm sorry. Crackle with power deals five times X damage to each of up to X targets. That's scary. You can just wrap up a commander game if you ramp up your uh, your mana. Oh, we'll see ya. All right, you're all dead. You know, just boom, 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 boom. It's pretty cool. It's not uh, targeting anything specific. It's anything you want creature player whatever <sighs> that is scary stuff strix haven stadium yeah actually that card is probably going to go up as well crackle with power i can see that one going up as well uh all these are going to go down but then they're they're going to you know some are going to take off strix haven stadium really really good card um what's this one like uh, it's a reserve list card I don't know if they should have printed this one. Why can't I think of it? Um, Library of Alexandria. Very similar to that card. Sitting currently at 1063. Um, and just a, a day ago, this was at five bucks. Someone made a video on it. Um, why can't I think of a young man? Uh, maybe the Moxman. I think Moxman made a video on it. And that jumped the price um, already. Pre sale stuff. It's crazy, I know. Wandering Archaic. This one's got the old flip on it. Uh, explore the vast lands. This one's definitely going to drop. How? Why would you? No. 50 bucks for the foil. No, not a chance, man. It is a cool card, though. Don't get me wrong. This is a pretty cool card. But not that. Not 50 bucks cool. Now that, I could see being 50 bucks cool. <laughs> Just because I, like, I love the art on this one. Uh, the Prismari Elder Dragon's really, really neat. 1876. Don't have a foil pricing up here, but there's a regular art on it. Um, I like both both arts. They're both cool. Then we have 1209 for ecological app appreciation. Why can't I say appreciation? Oh my goodness. <laughs> ecological appreciation. X2 and a green. Search your library and graveyard for up to four creature cards with different names that each have mana value X or less and reveal them. An opponent chooses two of those cards. Shuffle the chosen cards into your library and put the rest on the battlefield. XL Ecological Appreciation. That's scary. But that's a really good card. Again, they're definitely like geared towards Commander a lot of these uh, a lot of these cards now. You know, like almost like standard is just exists to exist, but like they really don't care about it anymore. <laughs> I mean it is what it is. This one turns over. We got Will Scholar of Frost, uh, Ken and Barbie. Um, good card. But I think a little underwhelming. This one's probably going to drop to like five bucks. Uh, Velamachus Lorehold. 1352. People want to play this. Players, 
you're going to want to play this card. You know why? Because you love Commander, and that's where it's going to fit in best. Crafty Companion. This was really good art. This was really good art. I do like it. Its abilities are strong. Uh, this card, uh, sitting it's, it's the old Luca Flipper. It's sitting around $14 to $16 right now. And, um, yeah, it's uh, it's good. Uh, I think the uh, last part's a little underwhelming. Whenever a creature has a battlefield under your control, it deals damage equal to its power on any target. It's kind of underwhelming. I mean, it's good. We already have a dragon in the format that does just that, but it's still uh, it's still a good card. Um, where it's going to end up, who knows. Body of Research. Yeah, these... <sighs> Put X plus one plus one counters on it where X is never... Yeah, you it's simic you're gonna ramp you can get there probably turn four to do this you know and uh and some decks probably turn three you know maybe not standard but other formats you get up into that man um you drop a huge freaking creature like that down you give it some other ability or you fling it at your opponent or whatever the case may be you're paying six to essentially create like uh, an 80 80 in commander or something you know um, which is pretty cool. Give it trample, but one opponent just died turn five. Okay. Then we have Blex Vexing Pest, but then creatures usually always get destroyed real quick in Commander. Other pests, bats, insects, snakes, and spiders you control get plus one, plus one. When Blex Vexing Pest dies, you gain four life. Uh, and then we have the turn over here which is search for blacks. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may put any number of them into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. You lose three life for each card you put into your hand this way. Powerful card, bang. 24 hours powerful, maybe, but people really wanted um, the, the bats, the insects, the snakes, the spiders. I mean, it's, it's, it's acting, it's all pests, you know, are getting this perk. You know, it's uh, a lord for pests, bats, insects, snakes, and spiders. What more you want? Um, the whole gaining four life. <laughs> did, did, did they really even need to add that in there? Uh, who knows, man. But uh, not bad. It's a good card. It's a good card. Golgari. Love it. And then we have Beladros Witherbloom. Flying at the beginning of each upkeep, create a 1 1 black and green pest creature token with when this creature dies, you gain one life. Pay 10 life, untap all land you control, activate only once each turn. That can get redunculous, and that is an Elder Dragon. Powerful Elder Dragon. Anything that untaps lands is good. Untapping all lands is amazing. So that's a that's a powerful guy. Harness Infinity. Exchange your hand in graveyard. Exile Harness Infinity. I think this card's gonna drop a lot. I know there's combos with it and whatnot, but I think this card's gonna tank in price. They're probably like six bucks. Call me nuts, man. Maybe five bucks. This is gonna be one that just really flops. And then we have uh Casmina Enigma Sigma. I will not say Sage. Casmina Enigma Sigma. She's sitting at a handsome, beautiful $29.81 for the non-foil extended art, $43.49. It does have a good ability on it. It's a good static ability at that, which can help out other planeswalkers, you know, get to their ultimate quicker. Quicker. I want to say quickly. I mixed the two. Three drop. Got to be very afraid of the three drop Simic cards. Could it be banned? Mm, probably not going to be banned. Not this one, but you never know. Um, 30 bucks. Uh, probably going to drop to like 20, my opinion. Then we have Professor Onyx. I think this one's overpriced a little bit too. It's a great card. Powerful static ability. Um, but I just think it's going to it's gonna dive down to like 25 and then it's you know going to curl back up. Might even drop to like 18. There you go. Um, the extended art, 6338. Good. Lord. Uh Oracle of Arcavius. Whoops, did I miss something? No, okay. This one's pretty nuts. Um, discard a card, cool. Oracle, um, uh, I'm sorry, return Oracle to its owner's hand. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, reveal a top card of your library. If it's a non-land card, you may cast it by paying one. Why, uh, uh, rather than paying its uh, mana cost, if it's a land card, put it on the battlefield. Wizards, can you stop it? Can you stop it? With this whole, let's play everything for free crap. I mean, paying one is basically paying free, you know? It's really similar. And the flip side's not bad also. <laughs> Great way to ramp it up. You may put any number of land cards from your hand on the battlefield. Sweet. Sweet, man. This this is going to see a lot of play. 42 49 
And the cool thing, you're going to pop it back in your hand, man. And then you play this side. Bada bing. You know? It's pretty dirty. Human Wizard, this is going to be a really fun commander to play with. Uh, it's going to see a heck ton of play, baby. It's going to see a heck ton of play. Um, it's, it's almost, is it the most sought after card? No. This one is. This one is. That was the number one regular one. I just wanted to bring this card up. Currently, where these are selling at, I'll get to in one second. Here's the Harmonize. And where are they selling at right now? This is recently sold on eBay. Um, about anywhere, the, the foil version, anywhere from, I'd say, 14 upwards to $25 for foil. For non-foil, you are currently looking at about $8, roughly, for this card. It's mind-boggling, mind I understand. And then we got Harmonize. The etched foils are nice, though, guys. You can't underestimate the power of the, of the, fetched, uh, the fetched foils. They're really nice. This card's probably going to jump up in price. It's, 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 call me crazy, man. It's probably going to go up a little bit more, only because there's so much talk around it. It's that simple. There's so much talk around this card. It has no choice but to go up. At least I think so. We'll see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot longer than I thought. I do apologize about that. Um, and if you did like it, you know, leave a like. Shows me you like it. Drop a comment. Say hi. I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday for those of you who do celebrate that. And other than that, I will see you on the flip side. I got a skadoosh. That's right.